That's dumb. If I, if, you if, if so, I would have. Anything you want. Okay, I'm hitting record. All right, I started recording. Yeah. We're recording. Yeah, if I could give you my gold, I would though. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> I'll say happy one for a bit. All right, so uh. I want to try another one of those vault missions because I noticed in the video where we did the vault when we grabbed that ancient chest in the end when we do that little there was a lever under it that when I pick the chest up it maybe makes the room like timer start again like maybe if we can do the puzzle and not pick up the grand chest, we might have enough time to pick up all the gold and everything and the water doesn't come in. Okay. But we'll still like grab all the loot, put it outside the door like we normally do. But let's see if there's another way to solve this that makes the water not come in. Because we get a good amount of loot, they're pretty quick to do to get those map pieces, you know? Or, or get you a scuba tank. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't mind drowning again, picking up gold piles. Because we'll get like a 20 grand or something, and it'll be a really quick quest. Yeah. I'm going to put up a vault. Are we all here. Is Gray on the ship? Yep. Okay, I'm going to start putting the... Uh, I've loaded the cannons. Okay, right behind the hourglass is the mission oh, to vote oh, on. That's right. We just need one more vote and it'll be ratified. I got it. I'm doing it right now. My son's going to join on in a little bit, but he's not here yet. Tristan or Micah? Tristan or Micah? Tristan. Micah's, Tristan, Micah's playing his Steam Deck. <laughs> oh, cool. And Tristan's getting ready to order his Steam Deck. Oh, nice. Which one is it getting? The size? Um... He was thinking he was going to get a smaller one and upgrade it to the same as the bigger one. Hmm. Okay. Both Micah and I have the bigger one. I have a big one, but not a steam deck. <laughs> you have a big steamer, but not a deck. <laughs> Alright, uh, by the way, I don't know where we're going. Did anybody ratify that quest? Yeah, I did. Apparently. Okay. Uh, let's see what direction that map is telling us. Or the compass. Oops, I didn't sail so. Oh, actually, Greg beat me to it. Good. Alright, looks like it wants us to go behind us. Okay, so we got a, a 180. Yeah. Little winds will change in a second. Yeah, they'll go the opposite direction. To turn inside that rock, or should I go around it? I'm gonna go around you it. Turn in. You can turn inside. I'm gonna go around it. I think we're gonna turn right into it. Mm -hmm. It'll be easier to go around rather than stress. I think the only way we would have turned inside is if we had raised sails some. Um, let us turn tighter. It's dark. It gets dark. It does. Oh, <laughs> cool. You didn't jump off the ship, did you? Oh, no, you didn't. No. I think it's really dark. But that's cool. It makes the lantern actually useful. True. Alright, 
it looks like it wants us to turn more to the south. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's, uh... Man, don't so be killing at at least these get haven. A set of clothes because the sea dog outfit that we got it we got That's things cool. up here lot. Oh no, I know you, Joe, huh? You've got gold out the ass, you need to get you like the fanciest clothes that, that you can afford. Actually uh, great, next 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 part I'll buy more better clothes. Yeah, we'll take them to the clothier for the beginning of the show. Yeah. <laughs> It's your naval uniform. I do kind of look, uh, scraggy. I don't know, maybe a sea dog uniform. Oh, hey, um... Blue, I noticed in the video, or gray, I noticed in the video, uh, you said you wanted that, uh, Reaper's outfit. Oh, yeah. Dude, you can get it. I don't know... I don't remember how. The Reapers was one of those stories when they initiated it into the game. Mm -hmm. And when I completed that story, I got the full outfit. Here, I can look like the oh, guy wow. that you sell your chest to. Oh, that's cool. Where's the outfit? Here? I left the uh, helm, by the way. <laughs> Here, take a look. Our ship's like a Tesla, it drives itself. It does indeed. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, take a look at this outfit, Bill. Let's see. You ran right past Where are you at? Right behind oh. you. <laughs> oh, let's see, hold on, it's so dark. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You're right. That's yeah, that's cool. the Reaper's outfit. Is it pointing us at... No. Good. Oh, I don't know. It might be pointing us at this island here. Steve's What's Haven. This island? Oh. No, it looks yeah. like it's pointing us past it. There yeah, is an right. island a little bit south, I think. But it's like a little not island. Interesting. Oh, uh, no, it's starting to get more intent. I think it's pointing us at Peace Haven here. Except that it's weird. It's definitely bouncing more intently, but it's not pointed at the island. Oh, I did not mean to jump off yet. Oh, well. That's a good thing there's Mermaid Taxi. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. One. Crazy Mermaid Taxi. Are you ready? <laughs> Is it this island? Is it? Yeah, it's this island. It's bouncing intently. It's got to be on the back end of this island here. You're going to go around the back or you mean to drop a I'll drop the anchor? Um, what? Wait a little bit. I can't see the island over here on the port side. Okay, I'm waiting. Alright, go ahead, drop it. Ah, so we're on the south end of the island already. It um, might be right up on this hill that we yeah, can get to yeah. from that bow stick there. Good thing the sun's coming up too. Oh, there's a whole rest of the ship down here too. What do you mean? It's all bashed up. Fucking ship? Yeah, the one that we're getting on to right here. Oh, uh, I'm not looking. I'm always in the sails. Alright, so we gotta jump up onto these uh, side pieces to get up to that bow stick. Right here somewhere. No, it's higher up the hill, but we're close. Yeah. We're damn close, but it's higher up the hill still. Probably up on top. Oh, 
Oh, we got crabs. Anybody got topical for that? I don't have any topical. I need some topical cream. I have crabs. <laughs> I think we might have to say that these videos aren't made for kids. <laughs> Well, lucky enough, I never had them, so. What, kids or crabs? <laughs> crabs. <laughs> yeah, it's easier. The crab laughs. Yeah, I think you went the right way, Gray. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, they are shooting at me. They are not happy yet. <laughs> happened to the uh oh that's right it's a ladder up from here not a elevator we got treasure over there what is it opposite side Looks like a seafarer's chest. Yep, that's it. Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna jump down into the center and grab that chest uh, on the opposite side. Oh, I hope I live. Hi. There might be another one. Well, let's see if we have the X marks. Let's see what we got. Alright, yeah, we need at least one more. I think I might know what island this is. Later I can go up this way and get to that chest. There's another something in the water over there. We got a mermaid statue in the water over on this side. A red one. That one's right. There's a crate. An ammo crate. I think I see a dinghy. And we got a mermaid statue over here on the southwest shore behind the boat, basically. <coughs> that mermaid statue is some money. That'll be a 2,000 gold gem, and if we get three of them, that's 6,000 gold for that statue. Oh, is the dinghy not saleable? Of course. You bastard. Why is saleable? Because it looks like ribs instead of a boat. Oh, that's fine. Alright, so we got, uh, what's that? A storage crate? Yeah, I got a storage crate and a seafarer's chest over here. And an ammo crate.
over on the western shore where we normally sail into the island from. Oh, by the way, Forrest. Yeah. Banana breath. It seemed it seemed appropriate. For the pig? No. Oh, for for this evening. Oh, there you go. Yeah, banana breath is good. I think I got that when I went to oh, Oregon last. Fuck ton of fireworks. Man, I miss the old school hogs breast. You ever have that? Uh uh. Let's just put it this way you open up the bag and smell like baby's ass. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, that sounds good. Dude, that, that stuff sounds was... good to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that smell wasn't exact. Oh, hey, there's loot under the water, too. Here, I'm gonna let this. Under the water. Uh, yes. Wow. Um, back in the episode you were playing. Um, I said, hey, go check under, see if you can see anything shiny, and you ran onto the beach. I was meaning look underwater, because right around where the boat is parked, a lot of times you can find, like, chests under the water, just offshore from the island. You just go underwater and look. If you're by the boat now, just try it. All right. So whatever this glowy uh, thing is, it's small. It's not well, a chest. I found like five gold pouches because a bunch of ghosts attacked me. Oh, mm. there it was. That's cool. Thank you, Sammy. Where? There it is. A decorative coffer. Man, that was hard to find in all that grass. Thank God we did. That's going to be the difference between my sloop and sitting on shore. Sloop and poop. <coughs> Poopy sloop. Nah, sloop is actually wow. dope. I like sloop. I tell you what, man. I have learned and mastered that brigantine. It is... It is fast Good. as a motherfucker. It's the fastest. It's the fastest ship in the game. I would. I would argue. Because it's got. It's got two sails, so it's faster than a sloop, and it's got less mass, so there's less ship to haul than a galleon. So, I think that's its compromise. It's easy. It's easy to sink them because they only have the, the one level. level. Well, yeah, exactly. And when that fills, that's it. <laughs> yeah, ship's done. Just like, oh yeah, and actually, Sloop has two levels as well. Like, <clears throat> so I mean, it's it's very much designed to get oh, in, man. get your treasure, and get out quickly, yeah. which is my play style. So I'm like, oh, this is, this is perfect. What I do is I'll um. I'll raise, raise anchor, and then I'll get started with, I'll sail it like a sloop. I'll get started with just the, the mainsail. And then once I hit open ocean, I'll, I'll do the, uh, the foresail, or I might not even need, depending on how long the commute is, I might not need that sail at all. Yeah. So it's super easy to sail. And when you're standing right in front of the capstan, when you look down the grill, the map is right there. So you All right, don't so we've got go these four deck. pieces right here, and I'm gonna go start this mermaid statue right over here. Yeah, you don't even have to go below deck to see the map. That's even better. Yes. That's a great feature. Oh. All right, where the, where's the ship? Uh, it's on the very south end of the island, and where we are right now is west end. Okay, shit. Yeah. I got a retreat, it's gonna kill me. I almost got statue, but I had to retreat. Alright, I got a ding I'm bringing to us. 
Oh, heck yeah. Oh. Cool. Along with that chest, though. I got statue. One freaking gem again? Are you kidding me? See, that's, that's how it always is, man. They're real stingy. It seems like whenever I play without you guys, I get two or three, like, all the time. But once I'm yeah, playing with yeah. you guys... When, when I'm solo, I usually get two, at least. Yeah. I've never gotten three, but two is very common. All right. Robo dot. And Did you grab all the loot? Up. I know. We'll, uh, I There's mean, something green glowing in the water shot. right outside that wreck there. Right below you, Bill, on the edge of that wreck. Oh, look in a little second. I gotta, I gotta pick out this guy. I showed my buddy uh, the equalizer tonight. That movie's my jam. I like that. Oh, you got I, I think I, I like that series better than John Wick. I would say. I know that's heresy. Which one? But, equalizer. Uh, equalizer. Wow. Yep. That's I like good, how huh? it ended. I'll have to check it out. All right, harpoon me up in the loot. Pretty great. Uh, hold on, I'm not, not there. Oh, uh, did you get all the rest of the loot? No, I got the two gems back here at the boat. Oh, okay, here. There's okay. A, a chest there's and two a... crates. I'm going to head back over there and help you pull them. Yeah, there's a supply crate and an ammo crate and a little silver thing, which would you rather I take back with the most valuable supply crate? Um, the... Uh, supply crate we can't sell at all, but that's super useful, putting it near the cannons. That was a problem right. we had last week. We had five supply crates on the boat, and Bill kept saying we were out of cannonballs, and there were like 150 cannonballs inside supply hmm. crates. Yeah, I could that was down. why we They're didn't down. sink that boat, was because we didn't have cannonballs. Yeah, they were next to the cannons. So. Yeah, exactly. Bill for, forgot his balls. Yes, yes, Bill forgot his balls. That's well, you gotta keep the balls where the sack is. <laughs> if you don't have the balls in the sack, then Listen, it's useless. You keep, you keep the ball sack on the, on the deck, in the sun, where It's it gotta belongs. be below the deck. It can't be below the deck. It's gotta be... Yes, a, keep your ball sack, sack in the sun where it belongs. The ball sack is a ball you gotta sack swing it around. that needs to bake in the sun. <laughs> Alright, there's supply crate. That's why I was shooting blanks. I've got so much pork. I keep killing pigs because pork is, oh, there he is. the best health restorative in the game. Yeah, I'm just dropping this shit off. Yep, I'm swimming it over, giving Bill oh. the opportunity to harpoon it up. But he's standing yeah, on the shore I, looking I, at this boat. See, I, I like... I like Not fighting this. skeleton. For the record, I like this as a strategy, like daisy chaining it. This yes. Is, we need to do this more often. This is, yes. This works really, really well. Especially when we're doing, like, the vaults. Yes. Yes. Alright, I think that's everything over here. Alright. So we ready to leave? Yep. Yeah. We didn't have any other pieces on this island? Uh, I thought we did. Hold on. Yeah, I think we might, man. I'm carrying loot, so I can't look at it right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm checking. If it takes me to the coast, <laughs> you know, like overlooking the ocean, then I'll know, but... No, it's not behaving intently. It normally does that, like, more rapid shaky, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Yeah, it is really. Yeah, and even the further, the further I go, it's not increasing. So yeah, I'm heading back. Yeah, I think we're heading uh, west. It looks like, or east. I mean, yep. my other west. Ooh. Dude, I have a lot of fireworks. So if we ever get a fireworks crate, we're oh, gonna be cool. very well thing because those things are already worth a ton. That's really good. Yeah, I keep doing those fortresses when I'm alone. That's the best way to make money. I make 20 grand off each of them. It's awesome. Sometimes when you're by 30. yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it takes no time. And I've gotten so quick, I know exactly where to park. Do we have a skeleton mission on this island? Like, I've got the uh, dramatic music kind of starting. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking there's a captain somewhere. Yeah, yeah me I think too. It's a captain too. And that skull could be worth some money. Yep, they always are. Like two, three grand. Yeah. Not like a, if we see the red tornado, let's do that tonight. That skull is fifteen grand. Uh, the green tornado is the same, but you got to sink like a dozen pirate ships. I mean, we saw that last week or the week before or whatever. The one that's on land, it's one of those like giant skeletons that's like ten feet tall, and he like does the fire and stuff. He's really tough. It does some super dramatic... He's more tough than the normal fire boss guy. And he talks like... He oh. has dialogue. He talks shit to you while you're fighting. Oh, uh, skeletons. And I'm hobbled. Uh-oh. I can't give friend. you much uh, help with a blunderbuss from here. All oh, right, I wait. Got I could use the harpoon. No, Bill's using the harpoon. Turn the boat. Yeah, where did you want to use it at? It was the chip turned. Yeah, I was trying to uh, go and help Blue. But he's done. You can't help him. He's done. The ship's up. Uh, chip. For some reason, the ship turned, so I was way out of range. Well, yeah, I had angled the ship for us to sail towards the next target. Oh. Oh, I'm throwing up for eating raw pork. Oh man, you yeah, should no, come aboard and cook it. I showed Bill how to cook food after you left. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, cooking, especially all the fish my son caught. <laughs> and then we ended uh, up yeah. losing them when we sank. Yeah, I got thrown up on. Yeah, I had bacon on the last cruise. Alright, I didn't get to eat it. Supply crate on the deck. Yes. Yes, put it near the cannons on one side. We get another supply crate, we'll put it near the cannons on the other side. If we get eight right, supply right. crates, we'll have one next to each cannon. <laughs> it's on the starboard side. And right now there there are no cannonballs in it. Oh, that ammo bunches. crate. We got an ammo crate, carry it up into the crow's nest. Oh, uh, what's that? So whoever takes a sniper rifle up into the crow's nest doesn't have to climb out of the crow's yeah. nest after five shots. Oh, I put it on the main deck so I could fire from the ship. Okay, I got it. No, nah, crow's nest is the best uh, spot to fire a sniper rifle. Does anyone have a sniper rifle? Well, yeah, we all do. Yes. I don't, I don't currently have mine equipped. But last time we had, like, I was running Blunderbuss, and I think the three of you were running sniper rifles. Yeah, where is it on the deck, Bill? I can't find it. I have it in the crow's nest. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the best spot for the ammo crate, for a sniper up there. It's kind of far shot, though. But you got a scope. Yep. Still a far shot. Oh, cool. Have you ever played it. paintball, Bill? You watch how it no. drops over distance? <laughs> never no, have. never have. 
you watch it drop over distance and then you adjust your aim so that you hit him right in the head. Because, yeah, it's Sea of Thieves has bullet drop. You should always go for center mass. Headshots are nice, but you should always shoot center mass. Yeah, center mass is where you're going to guarantee the hit. Right. Put two or three to the chest, then one to the head. Yeah. Well, you, you got to make sure they're dead. dead. I mean, you don't want them suffering after you puncture a lung. And they're gurgling in their own blood. You don't? Um, <laughs> yes, what? you don't. <laughs> Depends on who it is. That's right. I may. I may. <laughs> well, I've gotten really uh, mad at people, and even if I wish they were dead, I wouldn't wish they were the long and painful death. I guess I haven't gotten mad enough at somebody yet. Yeah. Alright, so Micah's gonna join me because Tristan's playing his Oculus. Oh, okay. Cool. That's okay, he's better. He's played it more. Oh, well. <laughs> he's more experienced. Let's Whoever it is isn't just fishing. It's quite foggy. Then, yeah, you know, Tristan did more help good. than fishing, and the fishing was helpful. It wasn't I the mean, most like help at some times that he was doing it, <laughs> but it was helpful. How, how foggy it is. Yeah, dude, yeah. this game really is dope. We may run into the... Season 10 is going to be even better. You Werewolf. can save that dinghy to the back of your ship, and we can form a guild. What is our guild name going to be? Because it basically works like we're all a crew. The looters. Together. So yeah, so it's like anytime you get loot when you sail, uh, it goes into my account, and, and when I sail, it goes into yours. So all right, yeah, let's call ourselves cool. the looters. Oh, yeah, looters. That sounds good. <laughs> we're the looters. We are neo ludites, not with the the D's, the T's. <laughs> oh, this is quite great. <laughs> Forgot what I was doing. Okay, I'm loading that thing up with cannonballs. All right, man. So I couldn't talk all this shit about Starfield and not put more time in because that only put three hours in before. I put in another 10 hours last weekend. I'm now like 13 hours into the game, and I still want to play Cyberpunk more. Never mind, Tristan's Aww. gonna join. Tristan got off, he heard me joining and he got off his Oculus and also joined his bed. Tristan heard Micah saying he was gonna join us and he got off his Oculus. He's like, no, I'm joining. <laughs> It's not being represented right. My children are now fighting. Hey, that's never happened before. Brothers fighting? Oh, never. <laughs> never, never in the history of mankind. My family's the first yeah, to do that. It's <laughs> pretty abnormal, dude. I'd, I'd call somebody. <laughs> Uh, too bad my daughter's not here. She's gonna be here uh, in a week, though. She's oh, in college cool. now. Oh, no. Yeah, she's, she's going on vacation. She's going to uh, yeah, she's going to uh, Oregon Institute of Technology, OIT. Wow. That's, yeah, that's fantastic. All yeah. right, good for her. Yeah, I'm proud of her too. That's pretty prestigious, yeah. She's yeah, learning yeah, astrophysics. Oh, uh, see, that's that's my passion, and my sadness is that I just could never learn the math. The concepts I grasp, but I can't express them mathematically, and, uh, yeah. I'm, I, I'm I'll amazed. be straight honest but, yeah, here. I, I fucking I would, hate I would, math. I would, I would sit and listen to her talk for... We could just blather on for hours. I'd be like, keep going. I'm taking I'll be notes. completely honest here. I fucking hate math, but I'm like a natural at it. 
My daughter I, is I didn't too. like math because it wasn't explained to me correctly. Math is no, a language. No, it can't be explained. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a sentence. It's it's it, you know, it's so more than that. Like because because math is the language math. of God. Like <laughs> no shit. Dude. Math is the language of God. For all those flat earthers who like try to say that they profess that God is great and earth is flat and all that, nah, they're bullshit. Math is the language of God and these people can't do math to save their life. <laughs> all right, shiny jewel. That was a... Uh, a staff. Oh, yeah, it was a staff for sure. I can see it, yeah. That's what it looked like to me too. So where is this uh, it, like, compass pointing? Oh, we're going past the island, and this might even be the island that the loot's at. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, we're not going to be able to... Oh, yeah, I think we can turn inside these uh, rocks because the wind is not in our favor. Yeah, it looks like it. It's going to be close, though. So. Nah, we're as close as we're going to get. Oh, uh, we're... Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we can get closer. Yeah, we could get closer, but I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't feel like kissing those rocks or humping them. This island in front of us? Yep. I think so. Although it's now... Oh, I fell off the Oh, I was going oh, wow. to shot you in. And that's okay, we're almost to this island. He'll be able to get a mermaid quick enough. I think this is the oh, island that the loot's at, too. Where we're going to come back to in the end. The ghost ship over there, too. Oh, yeah? Want to go sink it? <clears throat> Not really. No. It's behind the island. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the cloud in the air. Yep. And that cloud in the air is actually a ghost ship that's on par with the like skeleton forts. That skull will be worth like six grand, four grand yep. minimum. And there will be a ton of other loot, but that'll be a crazy fight. It might even have a sloop that sails along with it, and we get loot from that too. All right, get ready on that anchor. I'm ready. Yeah, it's this island. It's more intense. All right, drop that anchor. We're headed right for a rock. I didn't see the rock until I moved to the side of the mast. Cause it's a small rock. There's some loot there on the shore glowing. Looks like a crate. Oh yeah, so like last week, Bill, when I said jump off the boat and see if you see anything shiny, look underwater beneath the boat, like along yeah, the shoreline there. Hey, you told me. Oh, this is a crate of rum. We'll have to deliver it somewhere without breaking the box. Oh, well, without breaking, that sucks. How much is it worth? Uh, is it worth? worth a boatload? They are, it yeah. Is. They're at least the cheapest ones are worth a couple hundred gold. And it can go up to like 1,500 or something like that. Well, I think Devil's Rum is even like two grand. But those are the ones that are the ash in their glowing red bottles. Right. Drink many a bottle of that in my day. <clears throat> Glad I don't I anymore. 
I think you can hurt right. the bottles from here. You don't drink anymore? Nope. Six and a half years. That's pretty good. Yeah. My sobriety is the one thing that I'm proud of myself for. Yeah, it's really good. Else, if you ask me, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> Not on that one. I got that one right. Well, that's good. Yep. Oh. There's yeah, like a lot on the islands that we're hey, at. They, they, they drop treasure up here, guys. They need help. There's, there's a, uh, one of these gems that's worth a fuck ton. Uh, there's two chalices. Uh, fix the uh, ship first. Did we wreck the ship? No, we didn't. Someone left the wheel, not centered mass. Oh, so it's like spinning. Over the place. Yep. Oh, and the center universe. sail isn't up all the way. How do you use these stupid flares? Or are they flares? What's that? Where are you at? Oh, it's tough. The flare. Oh, I see you right here. I see you right the here. Reds. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. oh, how do I use this? That's a firework. You uh, no, load it a, into a cannon. It's a signal for... Yeah, you load it into a cannon and shoot it up into the air. And it will be a red, you know, like in the military, the signal flares there, it's a glowing yeah. ball that slowly descends. That's the same thing, but you got to put it into a cannon to launch it. I thought it was something I could, like... Launch from your okay. hand there? <laughs> well, like, like light it and throw it or, or shoot it off. Well, if you, you look know. at it, it kind of looks like a giant bottle rocket. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think you'd want to, like, you know, that's something that you'd have to set in a bottle, which, you know, what the bottle rocket's meant for, or in a can or something, that that holds it up, and then you light it, and it launches into the air. So, essentially, what you want to do, is that a captain in the water? Nope. I now have skellies all over me. We're dropping loot here on the shore that can be harpooned. Dude, if they shoot that rum, it's dead. I got it. I got the guys. I got all the skellies. I was going to say, I got the guys with the guns, but the one with the sword died too. Oh, I just got spit on. Where's the treasure at? On the shore, over to the uh, port side of the boat. I might okay, I, I, don't have a, I don't have a shot at it. Go ahead and use the, um, right there. Use the wheel and turn the ship a little so you can you shoot it. Got spit on. Yeah, me too, man. There's not I'm even a dirty hooker. <laughs> That's what I just said, it's not even a dirty mm. hooker. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, Alright, where are we going? Did we get this piece? More crates. Did we get I'm this piece? The compass isn't intent oh, anymore. Shit. And claw. Holy cow, I sword to... lunged off of that and I hit the ground and I didn't get hurt? No <laughs> way. That was like a 60 foot drop and I didn't take any damage. What is oh, this, silks great. or something? Yeah, luxurious cloth to get delivered. You Yay. 20 on luck. I did indeed. Well, it depends on the DM. Some of them want you to roll a 1. Mmm. <laughs> It also depends on the game and the dice, too. Well, D&D's luck is in, a percentage, in, right? In most cases, people generally know what you mean. Yeah. I think D&D's luck is a percentage, where luck in well, Cyberpunk is a D10.
Well, besides Cyberpunk, that's the luck is the same role for uh, Mechton as well, which was the anime role-playing game for Giant Mecha. And that was the same exact system as Cyberpunk. And they also had Teenagers from Outer Space, which was like the Japanese anime. Based off stuff like... Uh, Ninja High School, and that. Yeah, so what we're looking for is not on this island, I think. It's not pointing in tent enough. I think it's the next island. No, because that's a port, the direction that it's pointing us. What we're looking for is not going to be at a port. Ah, oh, great. I got crabs again. I gotta stop seeing that hooker. Oh, <laughs> Tatiana. That's funny, yeah. I work at a grocery store, and I've been doing dairy recently. And there's this tool, it's a metal rod that's like two feet long, the very end is bent at a 90 degree, and it's got like two inches of metal bent to the 90 degree so that I can reach back into the dairy sections and pull stuff that's at the back of the dairy up to the front. Oh, okay. I was like, where the fuck are we going with this? Okay, <laughs> that, that makes sense. So, I, I don't know what the tool is supposed to be called. A meat hook? What are you talking about? It's a little, it's a little bit like that, but it's, a, it's like a plastic red handle, and then it's like two feet of like quarter inch metal rod, and then at the very end, the metal rod is bent to a 90, so that I can reach back into the back and pull the stuff forward. And I haven't been trained properly in this job, <laughs> I only know the amount of time I gotta pull stuff off the shelves, which is three days before the sale date. And, uh, I took this tool and I call it the hooker. <laughs> Some people laugh and other people are like, yeah, get all pissed off that I'm calling this tool the hooker. Well, no, I mean, there's literally a rugby position called the hooker. Whose job is to, you know, sweep into the scrum and try and fuck the ball and get it towards their team. So. Yeah, that's like the wings in football, basically, right? They're either going to mm, catch no. the football or move in and distract? No, it's, it's different because you're all, when you're in the scrum, you're all just sort of in that big dog pile. Their job is to get, specifically, is to be at the bottom of that. Like the brunt, so they're sort of the tanks. Oh, at that and point, they're like, they're like a nose tackle. Like, like they take their arm and they, like, they hook it. You no, know, like they're and they try to grab the ball and fling it back towards their okay. people. So they try to hook the ball and and get I see it to what their you're side saying. So they're yeah. hookers. Yeah. Dude, rugby's good. Hey Tristan, do you have your headset working? Cool sport. If anybody watching plays rugby, leave a comment because you're pretty cool. <laughs> more about what if if you if you if you play rugby and you're watching, leave us a comment about what hookers do, please. That'd be great. <laughs> They're you. like they give you a blowjob, seventy-five bucks. <laughs> nope. Back to that, Rugby. Rugby only, thank you. Uh, this is... The, it is moderated. Thank you. That's true. Alright, so uh, we're ready to set sail. Alright, we're directly into the wind right now. Wow, a splash tail?
Well, something's happening with my game. It's being like freak out. There we go. Alright, Tristan, you take the wheel. I'm gonna go cook this. Oh, we have an axe. We have what? <laughs> we have an axe. All right. Be able to tell where this is. Yeah. I'm just you looking at fish wait. at the moment. You know, this one All isn't right. changing color. I'm wondering if I'm burning it already. Yeah, I think Hold I see on. fire. I'm grabbing it. I think I might have burnt this one. Alright, I think this is Crooked Masts. It's not the island I was thinking it was, the one that we were at. I think this is Crooked Masts. Uh, crooked Masts is, yeah, a little north. A little west. You go north. More to the east. And right there. Ah. Uh, yep, yep, I was right. It's crooked mast. Oh, Alright, give me a heading. Great. North, basically. Uh, north, northwest. Alright. We were headed slightly basically. east. We're going to head northwest now. Oh. Tell me when the bow yeah. spit's pointed right at it. Bow spit. Bow spit. No, there's an R. This island in front of us? This is it? No. I Let me so. look. No, that's a port. That's uh, Ancient yeah, Isle. Ancient port or whatever. Ancient Isles. We're about to run and stop. Yeah, well, I can't okay. see past the uh, masks. <laughs> I had to run down the stairs to see anything. Ancient Spire. Oh, uh, look what there's sails over down. Yeah, oh, that's sells some stuff. I can't see Crooked Mast in the distance yet. Let's angle the sails for wind. All the way to port. As soon as we're past the island here, we're going to turn a little to the port and get some more wind. Alright, so I think we can see Kraken's Fall up there to the north. It's at 2 o'clock right now. Oh boy, this wind is just turning right the direction we turn to, huh? rocks. Looks like we're no. clear now. I think we're good. Yeah, I was oh, nice talking about the oh. ones that are off to the left that I can barely see. I'm taking this fish. I'll take it. Go down and cook it. Oh, Don't nice. eat it raw. 
Yeah, I'll cook it. <laughs> yeah, go down and cook it. Don't eat it raw. We puked on each other multiple times last time. I thought you cooked it already. No, he doesn't cook that. <laughs> He'll eat it and puke on us instead. Tristan, you're on the Xbox. Your headset should work. Yay, level 44 with the gold hoarder. Dude, I watched Bill's freaking whole five hour video and he got legendary Voyager tag. What? Yeah! He's level 50 and something, or maybe you get level 40 and yeah. everything and you get it. I don't know though, because the legendary pirate is 50. It's 50, okay. It used to be 40 and then they raised it? No, it was 50 even when I started. I had to grind I, to 50. I could have sworn it was 40, that's weird. No, it was 50 even in the very beginning. Okay. And I had to seriously grind. I got everything, the gold hoarders and souls were kind of easy. It was like I had to spend two weeks after getting the others up to 50 to get the Merchant Guild equal. The Merchant Guild yeah, is the one that... Of souls is, is the one that's lagging for me. Yeah, now Soul for me too. This is way out in front. Merchants is second and Order of Souls is way behind. Yeah, my Order of Souls is like two levels behind my Merchants now because I focused on that for a while. But yeah, my gold hoarders is like six or seven levels ahead of everybody. Or no, it's at like sixty something. Really. Oh, I want to kill this fortress and take all their treasure. You want to stop here on the way? I love destroying these things. All right, I'm gonna turn oh, us mercy. to get more wind. We're gonna pull up to the left side of it from us. Mercy Zen is the one that I hit the most often. Probably because you start yeah, closer fire. there. Yeah, yeah, I know they're I have, I have really put them through. I'll hell. get the wood ready. Thank you. Uh, you're gonna want to go to the other side for all the way around. Yeah, it's just we that's, got that's the wind at this point not working with us on that. But eventually, that's we're gonna take gonna a pounding. Okay. We're gonna take a pounding moving in on them here. Uh, the other galleons have got it. Got a lot of empty space. So unless it's below the water line. Raise sails. I took right. one hit. I patched it up already. We're about to take a few more. I'm ready for them. It'll be alright. I'm. Um, might get shot here. Hit that anchor. Oh, that went right over my head. <laughs> that oh, sound no, is so awesome. Here. The other side. Well, we'll stop we here for while we fight. We can move it to dock the loot later. We're out of cannon shot here. Yeah, I mean, once, kind of once, shot, Honestly, because I've done a lot of these, once you get close, they stop shooting at you completely. Especially once you land. The, the camera oh, really? always stops. Yeah, so, so you can park it now and it's fine. Well, we're pretty much parked, aren't we? No, he wants us on the other side. Yeah. Oh, like, the east side of the island, I think. Like, I can even clear it by myself. <laughs> if you want. Yeah, that'd take a while. You should probably have Bill to run up there and help you smack those bitches. Yeah, you leave the ship? Yeah, go ahead and help him. I'll move us over to the east side of the island. There is some treasure. I'm putting it on the dot. Oh. Okay, cool. Here, hold on. Where did you put it? Oh, okay, there it is. 
Where's Tristan at? I think he's fighting. He's fighting. Out of a, it's, we're Is he all up there on the fight. island with you? Yeah, we're all fighting. Oh, there's loot already out there to get picked up. Yeah. I think Ray grabbed some. Yep. I've been busy. Like I said, I've, I've done a lot of these. I know them very, very well at this point. I practically live at Mercy's and Fortress. I opened up the uh, door down there for you, everybody. So easy access. Oh yeah, I see the Particulus on the side that I'm on has already been raised. Actually, if we had a dinghy to carry the loot through the Particulus, we are at the right spot. Portcullis. Yeah, I opened it up for you. I opened up the Particulus so you could get in there. Yeah, the Portcullis. Yeah. Or what I like to call the Poop Shoot. Poop Shoot. Oh, I'm gonna go back my ship in there. Always park on the dock. And that's right where the main treasure is. That's going to be saving me a lot of work. Well, the lower vault's right by the portcullis, right? Yes. Met the main vault, yes. So we're right by the main vault here. And the door is open. Is. And when you're up no, in the tower not. vault, you can actually drop off this here. side. The main vault is here, door is closed. Well, the bells are going. Are you for whom the bell tolls? No, no, no. <laughs> Metallica reference there. Dude, Bill, I got my Euro Rack set working. I've got a sampler on there that I can sample the shit out of anything. I got like the second best sampler like in the world. And not only is it like second best, it's also second cheapest. That's even better. Yes. I mean, it wasn't cheap, it was $700, but it's like four inches wide. But it is such a powerful cheap piece of electronic. Like depending on what it is, like for a it's... car, yeah, that, that would be cheap. No, <laughs> this, is, this is a synthesizer. Go, complicated piece of electronic equipment. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna run you a bit. Like I said, it's second from the best you can buy. If anybody finds the key for the upstairs, I see something glowing by Tristan up there. Yeah, right there. Is that a key, Tristan? I got the key. Fortress okay. storm key. R run it upstairs. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Tristan says it's a foul drop, bounty drop skull. It. Drop the anchor? No. No, oh. no, no, no. Bill, I'm about Bill, to die. Drop, drop the key. Or did I you die? Died. Okay, that's fine. I'm coming back. Someone revive me. Tristan. Oh. Dude, he's a good kid. Revive. Where's the key? You know. Did you get the key, Bill? Oh, I got ghosts all over me. 
I have the key in my hand. Okay. Oh, I just had a second. lag spike right there. Did you drop the key? Yeah, Where's when he when he got down, he dropped it. Oh, did what? I uh, die and then dropped it? Oh, Wait, yeah, it's I don't outside. Know. Yeah, if you got downed I by don't... the enemies and Tristan revived you, you would have dropped it. Yeah, I see it out there. Okay. Ah. That, that was a double right. explosion. Yeah, two I'm barrels. running this upstairs. So yeah, go up that, that ladder right next to you and revive on. whoever it is. Might be too late. Too late for me. Yeah. Alright, I'm parked over here by the dock. I'm gonna come up and start helping you guys. Boat's still moving. Make sure it stops moving first. Oh, yeah, that's a good guess. Dude, I can grab all the loot from right here. Oh, shit. We haven't finished them off. I forgot. I'm like, why are they still attacking? Oh, yeah. Did you just bounce off the wall, guy guy? <laughs> I'm, I'm here to hard point it in if you want to help fight. Or... Go ahead. Get some uh, good experience on fighting enemies. Normally you sit here and deal with the boat. Makes your videos a little less exciting. True. <laughs> Go get some experience on doing the uh, loot collection part. Oh, we got a fireworks crate. That's excellent. I got Isn't that what you were looking for? <laughs> That's what I was. This is gonna be worth a pretty penny. This isn't a Themis crate. Old. No, it's a, it's a fireworks. Crate yeah, there are Athena's the ones and Marauders ones. Like there are different levels too. I don't know. It's got paw prints on it. It's wood. It's got rope. <laughs> this looks like a regular ass crate. Look at the name. This is a Heart of Nature fireworks crate. That's a mid level. Mm. Whatever it is, it's good. I'm glad I have it. Oh shit. That one should be worth uh, around a grand. We get it full. Which is worth it. But the Athena's ones are like two and a half grand when they're full. Athena's Fortune Fireworks Crate, I think they're called. Oh. Oh, I'm getting killed. I need... Thank you. Need a barrel. Ah. Yep, that's perfect. Go. Alright, let me finish emptying the upstairs, since that's not done by a long shot. Alright, you give me a heads up when you're coming, I'm gonna go up into the crow's nest, look around, see if we got company. Coming around the corner. It's okay. Well, I did tell from the last video that I do have a bit better draw distance than you. Oh, yeah. Sure. You can see what I can see, but I can see lights and stuff on it when you can't. Right. 
and I can see those lights even farther out where I can well, barely I see the sand. Static. I got some kind of static. Yeah, major static. I don't know right, what that's let's from. Start, let's start. I don't hear it at all. Okay, let's yeah. start heading down to the um to where the main yeah, well, treasure it's gone is. Now. So that we can fight everybody down there and that way the key is. Yeah. They're all following me. Alright, we're clear. I always kill the captain down here. We're clear. Where are you going down down? Yeah, uh, go down to the the main hallway where the um the the treasure room is the treasury. Oh I got fight. Well I and literally we'll just, just watched a sunken ship despawn. What does that mean? It means that if there was loot there we can't get it anymore. Not that we were going to head to it, but I was just spinning the circle and I saw the birds all there. Uh, Captain incoming. He's going to have a big entourage with him. Be ready. Yep, if you bring him out the doorway on. here, we can blast him with the cannons. Two. <laughs> Yeah, bring him out the door. I'm ready. I put myself out. I was on fire. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Them look at what it is. Yeah. Alright, whatever oh, that loot is out. there, I can't... Oh, I grabbed that. Is it a bag or something on the stairs here? It's not letting me grab it. We'll figure it out in a second. Yeah, I keep sticking what's ever in front. Grab me? Okay. Uh... Yeah, right there. Yeah, you picked it up. It's not glowing anymore. Was that an ammo pack or something? Yeah, yeah, it was okay. an ammo pack. Oh, hey, you're on the boat now. <laughs> hey, guy, guy, go help him pull the loot up. Yes, please. There's a lot of it. Thank you. I'm trying to keep on the aiming a little better. <laughs> he bounced that. off the wall. At least he landed on the ledge this time. But he totally bounced off the wall.
Did I just grab you from inside the building? <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good shot right there. <laughs> Wait till next week and you see my uh, video. <laughs> I snaked you through a crack, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, you fired yourself right into the room. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. I don't see anything else in there. All right, so there's treasure up at top, right? Nope, that's all gone. So this is all the loot. We're ready to go. Yep. I think that's it. Put on my banana breath as me wanting to get down our uh, Burger King soon. Happy King. Oh, hey, look, you know what? We don't have to follow the compass anymore. We just need the heading towards a uh, crooked mast. And I can't quite see it yet. Oh wait, I might be able to see, might be able to see Crooked Mast from here. Is that Crooked Mast? Let's get it down below just because it glows and I don't want to attract attention. Exactly, that's why I was picking it down there. Big shiny beacon. Yep. Dude, that's Crooked Mast, I can see it from here. Are we ready to sail? Yep. All right, raise anchor. Oh yeah, give us a second to get the treasure situated so that we're not endangering the mission. I'm endangering the mission that shouldn't have come. Now don't start getting jittered. Shut up, Luke. Luke. <laughs> that, that, that was like, I just like that Beverly had another son who was better than Wesley, and actually joined in Starfleet. Suck it, Wesley. You're terrible. Alright, so we're going to be skirting Ooh. this storm, I think. There's very much Coco music playing right now. Yeah, it never stops. So now that we've done that, it's going to keep playing that forever until we. Yeah, that's gonna right. Have to, we're literally going to have to exit out of the session and come back in. That's how bad it is. Trust me, I've done these a lot. <laughs> We go to another one of the events where the music triggers and it will switch. No, it doesn't. No, no. It stays the Spanish music no matter what. I have tested it. By the way, I have, um,. I'm reading my very first book by Arthur C. Clarke right now. Oh yeah? Um, it is it is absolutely blowing my mind. It's crazy. Which one are you reading? Two thousand one? Rendezvous Rendezvous oh. with Rama. Uh I was reading about a Moomoa and I didn't realize that the scenarios were almost identical. I'm like, that's fucking creepy. How how closely life indicates it all. So it's like, well, I gotta read this now. 
so. And I'm glad I did because it's crazy. Just like Jules Verne envisioned the landings on the moon. Except that he launched us out of a cannon. That should be Crooked Mass dead ahead. Oh, I'm almost out of food. We're going to pull in between the rocks and the island on the port side of it. West, southwest side of the island. Yep, we should be right in between the two peaks when we land. Yeah, and it's right in the bloody center. Yep. But it's we should be it's right next the, to it. It's below the spot. Uh, it looks like. In the Alright, go up half sails. Yeah, let's coordinate this. Alright. Yeah. Main sail. Main. Half sail. Half sail's done. Alright, guys. I'm gonna catch you to one sail. That ought to be plenty. All right, get ready on that anchor. Yeah. Ready. And drop it. All right, so just off the starboard side there, that rock is our entrance to the island. Put the uh, left harpoon to a rock to keep us stable. I'm going to keep the right harpoon free for us to co collect loot. Yeah. Go ahead, Bill. Uh, go with the shore crew this time. Get some okay. shore experience. I'm also going to put you on the helm tonight, too. Give you some helm experience. Yes, we need to. It's valuable. Exactly. Sometimes he's the one back at the boat. <laughs> if we can have yeah. him sail the boat alone to get to us. See, last week, we had a ton of loot. We got sunk. My son went back to the galleon. He sailed the galleon alone to rescue me and Bill. Who had been gathering all the loot onto a sloop. Uh, I would or onto a dinghy, that, not a sloop. I would, yeah. think, I, I, would, I would dare say that I'm a pretty good pilot. Yeah, um, we were on Spearsman or whatever. <clears throat> Helmsman? Helmsman. I agree, that's why I made you first mate. Yeah. <laughs> I, you should see some of the parking jobs I've done on some of my recent solos. I mean, they are fucking, like, you, you'd have thought the computer did them. They are things of beauty. Dude, I was just so you bad. remember the, uh, the dude who did the crazy car race shit who passed away a year ago, two years ago? Crazy car shit? Yeah, it was like oh. on... Yeah, it's like sponsored by Red Bull and like everybody. Like, I forget, oh, he did a whole big ass YouTube. He was like major rally racer, um, motocross racer who became super famous.
he did the um Jim Connor car shit. I don't know. Look up Jim Connor. I don't either. I'll pull up my phone here. You guys keep. I've been I've been playing Forza Motorsport and it is pretty pretty freaking great this guy is more one. like Tony Hawk than Forza Motorsport <laughs> like this was uh, seriously uh, like X Games style but X, he used Xbox, a Subaru Xbox owns Tony Hawk now yeah he is an they Xbox do exclusive. Yep. well he not an exclusive that one might stay multi-plat well, like they did with Minecraft but it's a yeah, maybe. I don't know, stuff like that, I think you buy it. You By the way, so like, to. the whole shit got cleared, but now Microsoft owns so many video game developers that they're going to basically be forced to spin off Xbox. Yeah. Well... They are Microsoft almost into coming. Monopoly territory here in the US. We saw that coming a long time ago. At least I did. Yep. So. Oh. Ken Block. Ken Block is the Jim Connor driver. Dude, uh, he does crazy are. shit. It's a rally car, man. This guy goes around like a bus that's driving down the street. He's in a rally car doing donuts around the bus that's driving. Like, this is some crazy shit, dude. It really is like Tony Hawk level driving a rally car. Yeah, look at Ken Block's Jim Connor. And yeah, he died like a year ago or something. COVID or something killed him. Oh, so it wasn't even like auto related. No, his That's death was not related to his. Wow. He was damn good at what he did. And yeah, Ken Block is dead now. He did some epic... Like, he was the Tony Hawk for the freaking rally crew. Like, he invented so what? much shit. I'm grabbing a snake press to sell because livestock is worth a fortune. Also, just, if you get snakes in those snake baskets, great. you can use them as turrets to defend your loot. Perfect. There's something shit to in there. Got him. And the yellow oh, snakes and the black and red snakes, those ones are more potent. Like your health drops quicker. Okay, I got a red one for us to sell. So I just grab whatever was around. Dude, that I good. snagged you out of the air. That was great. <laughs> that was. Um, Alright, I'm putting him in... Right next to the loot. Quarters. Yep. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Put him next to the loot. That's right. I, I keep thinking Brigantine, and I'm like, oh, I can't put him below back, but here I can. So, yeah. Splash Tails? Did you catch another fish, guy guy? Go cook it. I need some food. No, I'm not gonna eat sushi here. Go cook that shit. I'm not gonna puke. <laughs> or actually, that's sashimi. Raw fish. It is. <laughs> I was like, uh... And Bill, don't take the wonton chip and get the wasabi thinking that it's guacamole again. <laughs> uh, Alright, the, the snake is all the way in front of the forward mass, in front of all the uh, 
the decoration chest. Now I got the best idea. Put the snake on the railing right next to the freaking helm. <laughs> and whoever's driving is gonna keep getting drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. No, keep it down by the treasure and that way if anybody goes to steal the treasure, they're gonna get spit on. Yeah. And it's not it's the, you know, money treasure, shot spit. <laughs> I keep getting spit on is the problem. <laughs> uh there's fish that's burning. There's Did he just put it on there and not pull it off? Yes. Yeah, so if I it burns, it's it. not as healing. It doesn't okay, well, get destroyed. It won't, let me, it won't let me grab it. So. <laughs> oh no! I'll go see. I'll go eat some charcoal. It's good for the uh, immunity. Yeah, that's it. Did we ever get what we came for? Oh, you know, we might be full on food. I am. That's why I couldn't grab anything, because I was full on food. Uh, this, this key is pointing away from the side. Oh, I guess we're done. No! Our... Our X is on this island. Oh. Alright, you stay on the boat, I'll go hit the X. I'm good at this. Terrible at that. It is good that we each have strengths and weaknesses. You know, it's very True. helpful. Yeah, Forrest is a whiz at finding. Uh, that that is so tedious and frustrating for me. I I hate it. So. All right, I'm right by it, but I got a crab it. sitting in front of this. Oh, I saw him. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna lure the crab over here, shoot some cannonballs at us once he, if he can clear this fence to me. All right, here he comes. Ah, oh, and he kills me. Hey, that's awesome. He killed you? <laughs> yep. One hit too. I, I was like at a 75% health. I didn't eat the wow. fish. And yeah, one hit, he killed me. Here, I got it, bro. Alright, I know exactly where this treasure is. Did you get the crab? I raised the anchor so that we can get the hell out of here very quickly. Alright. Hey! New commendation. It went under the ground somewhere. Oh, good. That'll give me some time to find this loot, which is like right here. There's some more in the kitchen for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I might want some more. Dude, do we even have the same compass? Mine is slow. I'm not looking at the compass, I'm looking at the map. Oh, that's right. Keep forgetting. Alright, where is that? Oh, I am under the bridge. I am past the treasure. It's right here. Somewhere right here. You got, got it. it. I hit literally six inches from it. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I got the enemies. You grab that loot. You got a crab right behind you. Oh. Uh, ow. Boy, it's complete. Yep. Now we gotta take the key and open the vault. And I'm dead. No, don't revive. I got you. Help. I got you. They might kill me, but uh, I got you. 
Oh my god, I'm... Oh, no, nope, it killed me instantly. Can I came back? I am almost dead now, too. I can't believe I survived. Oh, good, my food is almost here. There you go, I got a ruby gem up on the rock up there you can harpoon in. Oh my goodness, all the loot laying here. There's like five pieces now. Somebody else is in the server, and I just ran into them on, to, on the ferryman. So, mind your P's and Q's. Should we start flying the black flag on our sails? Yeah. Oh yeah, Tristan, switch the ship's cosmetics. He spent real cash on some of the premium cosmetics. Oh, they got me. Still getting feedback. Thank you. Yar. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. I need you guys to help me with one of the um, Black Pearl quests. I cannot figure out what I need to do. And it's driving me crazy. No. When I did that no. quest, I think I was playing with one of the developers. I think I was running back up. Yeah, but that's a good quest. No. You could offer any such a super. Hey, I got a collector's chest. Is that one that we can stick must uh, three items in? Correct. Oh, that's the one we dug up there. That's got the key in it. Oh, yeah. Make sure we put the key on the captain's desk so we don't sell it again. Got it. Wait, somebody took it. Yeah, I so, put it on the chip for you. Okay, hold on. I'm fighting crabs. Like some kind of penicillin. None of them dropped any gems. Alright, I'm gonna run up to the top of the island here. There's often chests up on the peaks of the mountains. Alright. I'm just gonna see if there's anything extra here that's worth picking up. Uh, oh, there's a pig crate. Start. How come it's not letting me pick up the pig crate? Oh well, fuck the pig crate. I'm getting shot by a ghost and I'm now almost dead. Go to the cliff, I'll hook you shot again. Fuck I the found pig food crate. in the barrel. It's not a okay, sentence good. I thought I would hear when I woke up this morning, but there we are. Well, I was gonna pick it up, but it won't let me. What do we got up here? Something shining up there. What is it? So there is some loot up here. Alright, I got three skulls loaded in that chest. There's something shining on the opposite peak, too. It's easier for me to get there from where I am, so I'm going to go see what that is. It is 10 o'clock here, so we, we do need to get to the shrine soon if possible. Alright, where's that loot at? My food is dropped off, so I will be right back. Where's that loot at? Just right next to it. So 
that lube on the outside here. No, it's got to be above me. loose right here somewhere. <clears throat> oh, explosive crate. Well, it didn't drop to the ocean. It dropped just like 10 feet below me. Another way to get a little higher up here. The loot is right here somewhere. Oh well. Oh, I got the barrel. Can I get back without going off the cliff? I can! Holy cow! That was amazing. I can hear the shots coming right by me, but they're just not yet. Ah, oh, it literally dropped right onto the cliff there. Where did it drop at? Okay, you see where I am? It's right below my feet. Yep. I can't see, it's dark. Oh, you got me. I get it? No, you got me. Here, let me uh, try to hook it. I can you see, can it, see it. I can't see it. I can see it. There we go. It's on board. Okay, it's too dark. I can't see. Yeah, it is pretty yeah, crazy dark I'm up back. there. All right, we've got what we came here for. Let's go. Let's go. What island is the uh, key for? Crook's Hollow. All right, so we're headed uh, west. Or is Crook's Hollow the south one? West, I think, might be Cannon Cove. We're getting server migration. Yep. I mean, so we gotta be careful and they have more people out there. Mm. Yep. The most they can fit is five, so. Might wanna think about checking out a port along the way. That's what I always say. Thank you. We got a lot of stuff here. We do soon. Yeah, I know. To... All right, where yeah. we're headed isn't very far away from the port, but we'll have to sail farther to get to the port. So we're going to turn around and head straight behind us. Let me drop the sail. Uh, now let's spin the boat first. Is the anchor yep, raised? I figured. Yep. Just wait for you to spin it. All right, I'm hearing the Kraken wheel. It's not good. Yep, that means we gotta get rid of this treasure fast. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna get past that. The bow sprit's blocking us. All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, um, um. Where do we need to go? Farther right? Drop sails. Dude, who's partying? I don't hear it. Is that, that's not you? 
No, that's not me. Not me for sure. Alright, go ahead and drop sail. Dude, who's rocking? I'm curious if we got somebody from another server bleeding in. No, that was me. I think I found a stupid instrumental because you were talking about spinning the boat around. Oh, spin and round and round. That's what round, 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 spin, baby. Round, right round, round, baby. Round, right round. round. <laughs> I couldn't hear it. Fully. What is that, Duran Duran? No, it's, uh. What's his sister, I think? No. De dead or alive. One hit wonder. Yep. Who was it? Dead or alive? Dead or alive. Okay. I know it's a one hit wonder. Although, members of that band ended up being like a uh, new order or whatever. Mm hmm. I know my electronic music. That's what I do. And new order <laughs> fucking rules. And I will fight anybody that says otherwise. Hey, they're pretty good, man, but you want to know who fucking rules? Comba Christ. Hmm. Or Skinny Puppy. Oh, familiar. Oh, Skinny Puppy's good. I am all about uh, the industrial. BT is alright. As far I, as it goes yeah, into the more housey style music, I'm more down with Orbital and uh, Daft Punk. Love that stuff. Yep, I um, I've seen BT twice. Once in Georgia, once in Norfolk. He played all of his uh, electronic symphony from beginning to end for us, and then I got to meet him backstage afterwards. Nicest yeah. guy in the world. Real stuff spoken, and then at, at the show in Atlanta, which is at a, a, a place called the Tabernacle, it's an old church. Uh, yeah, it's been actually, a that's a famous it music is, venue too. It is the coolest venue I've ever seen, and uh, he had a giant fruit platter that they gave him backstage, and he didn't want it, so he passed it out, and they crowd surfed it. Uh, around and I got like some grapes and you know some melon or some shit off the of <laughs> off the fruit plate. It was the greatest. I'm like, it, 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 we just have more fun with the electronic music. Heck yeah. Mm. Yeah, I will never forget that as long as I live. That was such a good memory. It's kind of like when I had, uh, I'll take it. went down to Thank Southern you. California after graduating high school. Oh, that was lush fish. After Bill awesome. went into the Army. And uh, I was doing theater and improv. And so I uh, did some work with an improv group down in L.A. Uh, it was called Comedy Sports. I started it actually up here, and I did comedy sports in San Jose and down in L.A. It's improv, uh, but it's two teams facing off an improv against each other, and then the audience votes for who they want. And uh, I was down in L.A. taking care of my grandma, helping pay her bills, and doing the L.A. comedy sports. And, uh, my team, we were blue team, is red and blue, and, uh, blue team got told that Robin Williams had showed up in the building, and he was going to be taking our team's spot, so I got to sit in the audience and watch the two-hour show with Robin wow. Williams playing against the red team. And then after that, we spent like three hours back in the dressing room with Robin Williams just talking bullshit. Uh -oh.
I've heard he was a very kind and gentle soul. Dude, that was so awesome. It really was. I'm full. Can't grab any more fish. I think I'm full too. Yep, I'm full. Yeah, I was like uh, 93 or something that I met Robin Williams. I met him once. Little kid. That was like in the Mark and Mindy days, huh? Yeah, it was. They came to our house. It wasn't the Mark and Mindy days. We were living in Big Bear. They sold our property to uh, Pam Dauber, too. Oh, yeah? In Big Bear. Yeah. That was a long time ago. That's crazy. Like 1980. Early 80s. Suzanne Summers, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Sad. I was too young, though, to really know who they were. Have you guys ever seen the movie Bushwhacked? With Daniel Stern? No. Oh, uh, yeah. What is the scout leader? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he glues the scout leader's hands to the car. I think that was Tommy Lee Jones was the scout leader. Yeah, I met Tommy Lee Jones and Daniel Stern on that shoot. I was, uh... I heard Tommy Lee Jones. The biggest asshole on the face of the Most earth, of the I've people heard. in Hollywood are. Um, I also got to meet John Valido. He was the gun store owner in The Crow. He was actually the guy that mm. taught me how to play Magic the Gathering. It was John Valido from The Crow. And he gave me a deck that I don't have anymore, which that's even crazier. It was angels and vampires, it was a black and white deck. It was at the time that uh, Unlimited was running in Magic. And when I started buying cards, Unlimited was going out of print, Revised was going to be coming into print, and I think it was uh, Legends was the expansion. It might have been Arabian Nights. I think it was the other way around. I think Arabian Nights was the first expansion. I think Legends was the second. And I was getting those packs for like 99 cents each. I traded in the community not knowing that cards that I was trading were worth like $100. And I was trading for like cards worth 40 cents. Yeah, I sold mine for about 400 Damn. Like... Wow. I had Black Lotus and all the Moxes, like the cards that are like yeah, the most too. expensive. I remember I would both did. I went I and got a to, proxy. I was always trying to beat you. <laughs> I, yeah. beat you. I uh, recently so I got a Chinese card. printed proxy of Black Lotus. Oh, okay. Cost me like $10 instead of three grand. I kept buying cards hoping I could beat you, and that's why I had so much money invested in them. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, when I was down in L.A. doing the comedy sports thing and doing the movie shoots, uh, I went the to the... Sliver deck was killing me. Yeah, yeah, the Sliver deck was freaking brutal. That was the most brutal yeah. deck I ever made. Well, no. The Sliver deck was brutal, but the Happy Rampaging Hordes Goblin deck that I made for the first... World Tournament Series. Like, I, I beat... didn't see that one. Yeah, you did. I definitely played that one against you. No, you played more Sliver decks against me. Well, I did, but my Goblin deck was even scarier than the Sliver deck. Um, I made a zombie deck. The guy who ended up winning the first World Championship, I kicked his ass in five turns or six turns with my Goblin deck. Like, that tournament, there were people from the um, price guide 
Uh, oh man, what was the name of the folks? Oh, we're about to hit these rocks. Let's all hit them. Nope, we're going to the last of them. Um, we'll look for shiny stuff on the island. You remember uh, back in the 90s, the uh, price guide for comic books and that? I do. What was the name on that price guide? I forgot. It's been so long. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. T but that price guide, like, they were rating the magic cards and stuff. They came to the first tournament that was in L.A., a theater tournament. And I ended up defeating the dude. I defeated everybody. I won that tournament. And the price guide people were there interviewing all the people that were likely to win and all that. And I kicked all their asses. They're like, in the end, when that price guide launched, it mentioned the tournament and it said the deck that won, but it didn't list my name or anything. It just said that a goblin deck won the tournament. Because I didn't get interviewed, but I kicked everybody. Some people's games, like, I ended some games by turn five. And I think the longest game was turn nine. Because the way I built that deck was uh -oh. that I had, like, uh, you had to do 60 cards. I think I had 45 of them only cost one mana or zero mana. So that the moment I put my first land on the deck, I could cast like 70% of my deck. That was why I won that tournament. It was because with one land on the table, I could literally cast most of my deck. In fact, the most expensive card I had in my deck was like four mana. So by turn four, I could cast my most expensive card. That was what allowed me to win that tournament. Like, there was a dude... Um, so I got two Moxes and the Black Lotus through what you had to do back then was called Annie. You had to Annie up, so you'd shuffle your deck first the top card on the deck would get flipped over and put into the middle of the table. Whoever won the match got those cards. And I won so many Annie's. And I got hella good cards in those Annie's. I know it comes from, like, poker or whatever, the Annie up. That's where you add more to the pot to make it more attractive. And there were cards in Magic that would force an opponent to ante another card. <laughs> like, there was a game I won a dual land and a mox in the ante. By the way, what what island are we headed to? I'll put the port. Well, I see a port so dead ahead of treasure. us. I see a I port dead there. ahead of us. Let's go there. Yeah, that's where we are headed. But I think we're headed for Crook's Hollow eventually. Yeah, eventually. We'll drop off our treasure first. We got a sunken ship above water off the starboard side over there. Well, stop over there. More into that? Starboard side? Pull. About as far away as the port is. We'll go to port oh, okay. first. If it's still there, we might head there and pick it up. Yeah, in the end, uh, I had a Lotus and all five Moxes. Oh, there is a Sloop dead ahead. It looks like a player. Yeah, it's a player. Guaranteed. He's at the port there. Okay. Or he's leaving the port. He's got all his sails. Yeah, 
No, he's arriving at the port. Ready for combat. Uh, he won't attack us. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he will. And I'm if they're good, they can on. sink us. Trust me, I know. We might be headed right the for him. The sails are up, right? No. Go over to the Sovereign's end. Yeah, that's where we're headed. If you can see, the Sovereign's pillar is on the side of the island towards us. Uh-huh. That was where I was headed before I saw him. Now, he might sail past the island, but it really looked like he was going right towards it. Oh, there he is. He's moving. We can see him now past Sovereign's Tower. I see him now, finally. Maybe he turned away because he saw us. He's like, fuck that. <laughs> I don't know, is he aimed away from us? I can't tell 100%. I didn't have the mass blossk in so often. Yeah, he's not coming towards us anymore. No, he's going away. He he's saw us coming away. and he decided to bug out. You know what? Is That's a immediate clue that we should chase him. <laughs> Let's dump our treasure. We don't need to be that greedy. I don't know, man. I got a beard here I can tie a bunch of matches into. We can become fearsome. There could be somebody waiting for us out there. There, there could be somebody waiting for us already. He could have dropped off his crewmate if he had one. Who would be sitting here waiting to ambush us. And he might uh, just be sailing around the rocks over there to come around behind us. Well, either way, we're screwed then, you're saying. So, we'll take our chances either way. <laughs> Alright, get ready on that anchor. I'm ready. Drop it. Oh, we might be a titty bit early. We are. Titty bit early. Alright, I'll raise okay. sails. You guys deal with the loot. I'll get us uh, ready and keep my just, eye on the if enemy. You just, if you just spin the ship, you can jump from the bow spread. Yep. I can't yeah, so. spin the ship until the sails are up, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Because if we go and try to spin the ship now, it'll start sailing. They're up. All right. Anchor. You guys uh, deal with the loot. Since I've got the best target here, I'll keep the boat safe in case he comes around the rock and tries to surprise us. Are we close to the dock so we can just jump right off? Almost. I'm going to turn the boat so you can go off the bowsprit. And actually, like, it, it might be written sprit, but listening to the uh, podcast I was listening to, they called it a bow spit. No. <laughs> they were incorrect. Yeah, it's a sprit. And these folks were the ones doing the pirate history saga stuff. They talked about all of them. It's still spread. I heard spread too from other people. Okay. I don't see that. Now the spread. British don't pronounce the alls very well. And if you go into that, True. then it'd be the ball spread. That could sound like that. Yeah, the British R's are really soft. They don't have the hard R like people from Louisiana or Arkansas. Let's definitely spread. We might want to drop that anchor again if the storm keeps approaching us. 
You know what? This makes it easy to deliver loot, but not easy to get back to the boat. So I'm going to drop the loot off the bowsprit on the dock, and you guys just keep running it. Okay. Oh, the end of the water it went. Didn't make it to the dock. We're not far enough to make it to the dock. Okay, well, then I'll do that then, I guess. I almost have to jump. Let's see if I can drop it on the edge of the dock right here. I did. I dropped it on the dock right at that one spot. I got to keep hitting that spot. G spot. The G spot. Hey, that may. Oh, did that hit the water? Oh, did it? You got. I got. You have to get it closer. If it keeps hitting the water, it takes longer. Yeah. Well, there we go. I dropped it on the dock, literally, and now I have to swim back to the boat too. Oh, hey, there's an explosive barrel here. I spent like 30 grand on missions for my brigantine. But I got all the good missions now. I got the vault missions, the uh, cursed treasure missions, and all that ready to go up on the brig. Yeah, you got almost 600 for the, uh, for the snow. That's pretty cool. Still think it might have been more useful as a guard for our loot. Oh, there's another glowy chest down there. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Oh, uh, yeah, that's better. Having somebody on the harpoon to snake us back from the dock would be much quicker to sell this loot. Oh, yeah, it is. That swimming back to the boat shit really sucks. Here. Give me up, Scotty. Even though he never actually said that. No, I think you would say prepare right. to bring us back or something. Let's see, how much for this fireworks? Oh. Just oh wait, that was the seafarer's chest. Let's see, what do we got for the fireworks? Sounds like somebody's snoring. Really? Not me. Not me. My wife snores. Like the only thing I've been. One thing I heard was the uh, static earlier. Okay, so I didn't hear that for <laughs> Just in case she ever asks. <laughs> I don't care. 
Fruit crate is not full. I can't sell it. We sell everything? No. We got a. Uh, it's another chalice in there. Oh, I see it. We have to go to Roaring Traders to sell this fabric. Oh, you can't sell it here, fabric. Yeah, we gotta just, go to the uh, Roaring Traders. I mean, are we closer to the shrine? So let's just do that. Yeah, we're close to the shrine. It's, uh... Northeast of us. So is the anchor up? Yeah. Yeah. We saw everything. Everybody on the ship? No, not yet. Not everybody's on the ship. There's loot on the edge of the dock there still. See it on the corner? Go sell it. Don't hook it on the boat. Go sell it. <laughs> Where's the treasure? It's on the boat now. Hello. All right, I'll wait here for you guys. I'll even turn so that Bill can harpoon you back up onto the boat. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's just instinct. Oh, fruit crate. Yeah, Dude. we can't sell the fruit crate. It's not full. I already tried yeah, that. Yeah, it's not full. But the other one can be sold, yeah. Ah, that was a poop chest. It's alright. It's better than no money. Are we all aboard? I didn't believe so. Alright, you know what? That, uh, sunken wreck is almost in the direction we need to be going. Okay, we'll stop on the way. It's also kind of towards that rainbow rising up to the sky over there. All right, so yeah, it looks like we can go with almost true sails, just slightly port. turning off our target. Alright, I can't see the birds anymore. Are they dead ahead? Yes, they are. I see them now. We're rising over this crest. Oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, they're see him. a little bit oh, no. ahead of us here. Oops, I fell off. I will. <laughs> Me too, actually. And you guys that are so close that when we stop, there might not be a mermaid. I'm gonna run down and get ready on the anchor. I think I see a mermaid, but it's not. No, I don't see one. You're right. There I should be one. one popping up now. Yeah, it's a I got one. And we are literally right over the wreck. Oh, it's a little deep. I can see the bottom here, too. Alright, Captain's ah. Quarters. 
All right, we got a gem. We got an ashen chest. And dice. Where we All right, I'm releasing the gem. I'm going for the ashen chest. Gem should be on the surface. And I'm starting to ground gems on the surface. I don't got a shot at it. No, you'll have to turn I'll the boat. Come. Raise sails, turn the boat. All right, looks like captain's quarters is clear. Swim around the back. Make sure there's no chest on that little railing. And I'm stuck. I might drown. Oh, I'm gonna make it to the surface. Don't stop swimming fast. Oh! Man, you frustrate me so bad. What was that explosion or cannon fire? What was that? From Somebody's where? Somebody's killing us. We're being where attacked. Where are we getting shot at from? We're being attacked by another crew. Oh, Get him. See him. Get him. I've got a mermaid staff. I'm on my way out. I'll head for their boat if I can see it. I didn't, didn't see nothing. Lucky enough, we, like I said, we sold all our treasure. I'm drowning trying to make it to the surface right now. Now you guys have fucked up. You have fucked up. Come here, you have fucked up. You have fucked up. Fucked up you have. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. Now Are you guys up. hearing this? Now yeah. I, I don't want anything to do, do with this. This guy's spam. That's all he is. You're spam. Meat in a can. You got no treasure. <laughs> Sucker. I'm not after your treasure. It's just shit, dude. Got no treasure. We already sold it all. <laughs> and I'm getting it. Oh, oh you're shit. gay, motherfucker. Yeah? What about you? gonna be mad uh, about it? No, die? I'm not. You just died to a homosexual. You just died. Oh, no. So threatening. Oh, oh treasure. So you're not getting nothing. He got me. I was on his boat, but he got me. Uh, I got I got killed right away since I get auto. Hardly no chance. I just threw a black. That's all right, man. He's already done stuff. slurs and stuff, and we got it recorded. And there's the whole new Xbox policy on offending people. If we want, we can get him banned. <laughs> do it. Seriously, do it. Fuck that guy. Do it. Why won't oh, it static. load? Because our boat's... Probably uh... because we sunk. Yep. But that's why we sold all our treasure, so it don't matter. Yep. Well, I mean, we got a little bit there. Not much, that's but a little why bit. I, I always say go to port whenever available. Yep. Always. So uh, it didn't bother me. No, it doesn't bother me at all either. I was like, okay, well, you don't got anything, so. <laughs> well, I mean, we lost a gem and a chest. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. 
Can we vote the shadow? Oh shit! We lost, we lost the fucking key! Oh, we lost the key. Oh well. That's okay. That guy is probably yeah. not smart enough to realize what to do with the key. He'll probably just go and sell it for a hundred something gold instead of going open the vault. But hey, okay. we know where well, that vault where is, so if he goes to show up, we can go there and ambush him. True. Not a bad idea. There's, um, oh, we lost those supply Whoops. crates. There's a crate on the shore here. I'm gonna grab it and jump back on the boat. Where was he, where, where were he going? For the, uh... Uh, Crook's Hollow. Let me take this, uh, crate back. This is a supply crate. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Here, I'll swim so you can hook me up, too. Okay. We did get our supply crates. And our snake. Oh, yeah. oh no, you sold the snake. Alright, yeah. so head us for Crook's Hollow. Crook's Hollow. <laughs> Yeah, put the supply crate near the cannons so that we have cannonballs ready. That's what I did. We don't want to pull a last week where we're like, we're out of cannonballs while we have 150 of them on board. Yep. <laughs> That's why it's so important to keep them on deck. Exactly. Right next to the cannons is great. All right, so what's the heading to Crook's Hollow? Let's make sure if he goes for our good loot that we're there to ambush him. What are we at? Kraken's Fall? Yeah, we're at Kraken's Fall. Crook's Hollow is going to be like southwest of us. Thank you. Oh, I'm full, I guess. I'm full. I guess uh, my food's still straight. I think I'm gonna have to yeah. spray paint the inside of a toilet, like physically. Here, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna turn us away from the rocks and let somebody else take the helm. Cause I gotta go spray paint my toilet. Go ahead. Whoa. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Are we going towards Krokala? Are the cannonballs slowing? Should be. Don't go in there, something died. <coughs> Hello you to you too, Moose. Alright, we're headed towards Crook's Hollow. 
Uh, that's what I was asking. Uh, we need to go west. Directly west. Immediately. Angle all the sails to port. Dude, he might be at the island over there. I see a sloop sails. Can you thread the needle through the rocks there? Yeah. I think so. Angle all the sails to port. Oh yeah, I see him out there. Thread the needle. Don't hit the rocks over there. I can't. I can't see those. The All right, here. Let me take the, the helm. I can thread it. Yeah, more, more of the starboard. All right, let's get the cannons ready. Okay, who wants to take over driving? I want to get off. So we're going to battle. You're going to go to bed? I'm going to go to Rayleigh's. Go to Rayleigh's? Yeah. Okay. Will you come back and join us? Yeah. It's a great time for my son to be going to the store. All right, this guy's uh, going to try to leave us here. See him? Yeah, I see him. What should I do? Driving wise. Oh, they're shooting at us. Uh, put him off to our port side and then keep him on the port side. He's headed for the port there. He's going to try to sell the stuff. He doesn't know what he's got. Here, let me uh, tell him too. <laughs> well, there's something in the water. Something in the water. You guys have fucked up. Now you guys have fucked up. Yeah, same dude. Now you have fucked up. You guys have fucked up. Now yeah, you fucked enough. up. Now you fucked up. And your name is Spam. You guys have a good night, okay? Is this guy really got you that aggravated? No, I'm just really sleepy and it's almost 11. So. All right. Oh yeah, I have to go soon too. Mm. That's all good. Mm. Go for it. You, you guys have a good night. All right, you too. All right. I have to go to anyway. You have fucked up, my friend. Where are you going? Now you have fucked up. You have fucked up. You need to die, my friend. Oh, you fucking suck. Get the fuck off my server. Now you have fucked up. You I saw him in the water. fucked up. Get the fuck off of the CFC. No. You don't understand, bro. This ain't how that works. <laughs> Alrighty. You out, Bill? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. I was about to quit recording. No, this guy's funny. Suck! You fucking suck! You suck dick! Come here! Come here! Oh my god, you fucking suck up! Oh my god! And you had the first hit! Oh, oh. That's a snack. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't bother me, I don't get face. 
<laughs> we don't have anything, so we're not the ones losing anything. Yeah. Looks like he's all by himself, though. I haven't seen anybody else. It's only two of us versus one of him. Oh, you guys fucking suck! You fucking suck! Oh, what are you gonna hit me with, a spatula? Oh, you fucking <laughs> suck! Oh, the only problem get fucking is... pooped on! Get fucked! <laughs> uh, the only problem is when it spawns you in, he's right there, so... Yeah. He can basically spawn can... kill us. Yeah, that's what he's doing. There's nothing I can do. As soon as I get in, there's nothing I can do. It's not letting me vote the scuttle ship, either. Oh, there we go. We can make him sink. And he ain't got shit. Oh. How do you make him sink? No, go to, uh, hit the, um, hit the, um back button or whatever. Oh, the back button. And yeah. crew management. And then go down and vote the scuttle ship. Crew management. Do vote the scuttle ship, not vote the scuttle ship and change seas. I don't see it. I'll wait till I get. Dude, the somebody there died. He's right there. And it's not the same guy, so there are two of them. So, to where now? My crew. Crew management. And then down the very bottom should be. Should I, be what? I, I, What's at the I very bottom? There. Do tell. I don't know. What's at the very bottom? I don't know. Tell me. Nothing. This crew type closed. It's only both no, the No, my crew, crew type. And then I down think. at the very bottom is scuttle ship. Uh, where's scuttle ship? Under crew management? No. Yeah. No, there's not. It's only vote to change crew type and allow friends to join me. I don't have that. I don't mind. Yeah, it's there. It's not crew management. Vote to change crew no, type hit. and allow friends to join me. No. Hit and you'll have game options. Hit my crew. I did that. And then at the very bottom is scuttle ship. Don't go to crew management. Oh, Look okay. Down at the bottom of the page. Uh, I, see, I see what you're saying. So don't go oh, to Okay, I'll come on now. Yes. The bottom of the page should be scuttle ship. Who's a good little galleon? Oh, and then get boo booed on one more time. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh. Oh, Not yeah, like I lost really anything, and I'm wasting your time, too. Oh, oh. no. Not, <laughs> not like I lost much. anything, and I'm you wasting your much. time. Oh, you ain't wasting no time. Oh, heck yeah, I am. I don't need nothing. <laughs> Oh man. I don't know if our stream stopped recording. Mine didn't. I'm still recording Mine every did. moment of this. I can post oh, every glad. moment of this offensive shit right to Xbox. Oh, our like ship is done. Record. Our ship is done. Oh, you did we'll not record? Our... I did, but it was recording, but now it looks like it's not recording. I think I'm still recording. Out. I'll check. Yeah, I'm still recording. I'm good. Okay, well, that's good. We've got all this mine. recorded. If I feel like reporting this guy to Xbox, I can. <laughs> he doesn't bother me at all. He's that's just a prick. And he had nothing. 
Let me take a look. I mean, at least he was having fun killing us, but he got nothing for okay. it. No. You recording? I'm taking a look to see what I'm missing. Looks like it stopped recording after a while. Yeah, that's what mine did last week, and I didn't even notice. It must have popped up that it stopped recording, and I didn't see it. Yeah. I haven't watched mine my did video. The same thing this week. How much did I. Yeah, let me take a look. Looks like it didn't get much. Let me take a look, make sure. Which is weird because it usually doesn't stop. No, I didn't get much at all. So I'll have to do look and rely on your video. Alright. No big deal. I've got this all. Last one did mine didn't record. I got like when we started recording, then it stopped. All right, so I'm going to head us for Crook's Hollow again. We're going to stop much. him from using that key. If anything else. But he's got so two other people with him. Or a person with him. You know, when we were fighting him, I never saw anybody else. I did see one other person in the dead box. But I never did see anybody else when we were fighting them. Oh. Alright, so, uh, northeast. Well, you left me. I'm still on the island. <laughs> oh, well, catch a mermaid. I'm gonna head to Crook's Hollow. I know. Dude, That's holy like, shit, is like... he at Crook's Hollow? Is he already there? It looks like he's at Crook's Hollow. He might okay. even know what that key is for. And I'm if sure so, he, he actually pretty, did get something from us. He's pretty experienced. Yeah, and he's got a quicker PC than I do. He doesn't have to deal with the lag that I do. He's pretty experienced, so... Probably not what he's doing. I think more of it's his equipment. If I didn't well, I have his crappy close. internet here, I would be all over him. It's my I lag issues that's fucking it up. I could tell you it's more experience than I am. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's coming for us. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can see him already? Oh, yeah. Dude, he was even off of Crook's Hollow. Where is he at? Uh, just uh, 2 o'clock, 1.30. He's coming right to ram us. I hope you're on the, the... I'm not. Oh, we're just gonna let him ram us? No, you keep moving. Moving where? Head past I'm Crook's the... Hollow towards the north. I'm on the cannons. I'm on the cannons. That's okay. He's coming right for you. Oh, where are you at? Oh, in the water. Yep. I'm going to stop talking so he doesn't hear me. I 
I already did. We can I have a chance against this guy. He's pretty darn good. Go ahead and go out, Lewis. He's pretty good. He's probably waiting to spawn kill me. He's probably right on that ship waiting. Damn, that shit stinks, cat. I have to go. It's funny. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man. As long as we keep heading towards Crooks Hollow and stopping him from using that key, I'm all good. Damn, that uh, cat. Your shit stinks, cat. I don't know if I can, we can stop him. We're just slowing him down. Oh, someone, someone died. Did you kill him? No. Someone oh my god, my time! Don't people. waste There's my time! Person. Don't waste my time! Don't waste my time! Don't waste my time! There's definitely more than one it. person no. on the show. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Sounds like a little girl. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I, I don't care anyway. You're losing to a little girl. You're losing to a little girl. Oh no! You're losing to a little girl. Oh my that's god. That's pretty good though. Stop. I'll give him credit. Come here. Don't get bit by that shark. Watch out. He's definitely better than oh, I am. You just got shit on. Look at all that butt smashing. Oh, there's like two or people. There's two people here. Yeah. There's more than one person. There's like two or three people. Well, it doesn't mean that he's with our crew. Who knows? Maybe he was. <laughs> you're pathetic. Who cares if you're winning? I sure as fucking hell don't. <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. You think you're bothering me? You're not. You're just wasting your time. Who cares? That's pretty good, though. Dude, if there, it might have three people. Yeah, I think three of them. Pretty good though. Pretty good crew. <laughs> no, they're not, dude. I got two of them the last time I spawned. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a weapon. I got I ain't gonna get Oh, you fucking suck! Get out of here! You losing to a little girl? You're losing to a little girl now? Oh, I guess you're a little girl? Alright, little girl. Yeah, I'm a little girl. Alright, little girl. I'm whooping your ass. Whooping your ass. Little boy, little girl. No, thank you. Oh, this is considered rape bad. This is bad. This is bad. Little boy, little girl, don't matter. Let's do it. You want me to join on a different ship? Because otherwise you're full. No, I'm not full. There's only two of us. Oh. There's more than one person, though. Yeah. 
There he is. Alright, let's do the scuttle ship again. Let's not let him spawn kill us. Okay. Dude, the lag is so bad I can't even click scuttle ship. Like, half the times I click to do shit, it doesn't do it. Okay, it should be scuttled. Yep. But I have to get going anyways. Alright. <laughs> that was fun though. Yeah. Sucks that I didn't get a recording now. I don't know what happened. So weird. Yeah, that's like sucks. It was recording then stop. I'm gonna go that ahead and stop recording, recording now. Somebody got it though. Yep, I got it all. All the way until now. Uh, that was 